Hello everybody, this is Trevor Truck ASMR, and welcome to episode 2 of Paper Lily, a game that so far has been excellent. And uh, if you recall from the first episode, we're supposed to gather some materials because apparently our protagonist is trying to do some sort of ritual. And I don't have all the details of this ritual, but I'm very curious to see what's going to happen. So, right now I'm looking for two things. A red marker and a red string. Maybe in my parents' room. Okay, so we can look for that. Now, around here, it doesn't appear to be anything that I might be able to use. Various bows and hair decorations. There's some red ribbon here. Take it. Yes. Well, that was... That was easier than I thought it was going to be. So we've taken the red ribbon. So we have one of our materials. Now, we need to go to Lacey's parents' room. That's the bathroom. So I'm gonna guess perhaps it's up this way. Locked. You shouldn't go in. Who knows what that room is? Okay, so maybe, maybe this is it. Yes, my parents' bed. Classic alarm clock. Father doesn't trust the alarm app. A bookshelf with complicated books. Black, black, no red markers here. Maybe downstairs? Okay. Let's hope. So, we don't have a room here, do we? No. Just a foyer. So let's try... This is the kitchen. Don't believe there would be anything around there. The bathroom probably doesn't have a marker in it. The laundry room is locked for some reason. Bookshelf with random decorative books. There's also a few neatly aligned office supplies. Red mark, perfect. Now we have it. The red marker is ours. Okay, now. Now the next part is I have to apparently paint a certain symbol and tie string on f the phone cord. So I know for a fact, a landline phone, this is the cable I need to tie a red string to. Dial a number. Well, not quite yet. So apparently we have to paint a symbol It opens with the remote control. My parents probably took it in the car with them, so we can't get out through there. Okay, large pile of boxes. Okay, so the one thing that I kind of forgot is... I need to prepare the ritual before nighttime. Paint symbol, tie string on phone cord. Okay. Okay, everybody, good news. I figured it out. So the symbol is supposed to be on the front door, and I had to use my item, which is the red marker. So, time to draw. Let's see what happens here. What a strange symbol. Now the house will be even more cursed than it already was. Yeah? Well. We're making some questionable choices, probably. 
go back to our inventory and we'll use this ribbon. Is a bunny rabbit not fine? You know, I don't think the weird ritual specified what it was supposed to do, so. Uh, okay. And that leads us to talk to Hero, our friend. Actually, I think I can just go this way. Might be a little easier. We gotta say goodbye to him. I finished setting up the ritual. I see. Um, hmm? Is there really nothing I can do to make you change your mind about doing this ritual? Hero. I know, I know. I know I said I'd stop, but I'm just worried. I'll be fine, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right. So I wanted to ask again, just in case, would you mind not being in the house tonight? Understood. I don't think anything bad would happen, but just in case. Got it. Don't worry. I made some plans, so I'll be out late tonight. Okay, just don't be here before 12.30. Don't worry so much. 12.31 on the dot. Really though, take care of yourself. Make sure you get back in one piece. I mean it. Be safe. Okay. Oh, it figures. I can't say goodbye to him properly after that. Oh well. Why did I have to say I'll see him tomorrow? Okay. There we go. So, looking at that. Get in bed. Okay. Perfect. We are gonna rush to bed. Here we go. I'm too nervous to do anything else anyways. Then again, I'm not sure I can actually fall asleep. I'll just lie down and close my eyes. Uh, you'll get there eventually. Although, personally, I have trouble falling asleep that way. I feel like I have to watch a YouTube video to fall asleep. You know, just lying in bed, closing my eyes. It just never works for some reason. This place, again. Guess I really did fall asleep. Sometimes I wake up here after falling asleep. I have this dream a lot. But it seems I can't leave until I see it through to the end. So this is happening, huh? Alright. Guess you can go up here. But there's so many different directions. I don't even know where to start. Okay. Well. Well, here we go. Once I cross this area, this dream will be over. Wait a minute. Oh, it closed. Okay. I was gonna go back and check that other path. What's this? A note? Welcome back, Lacey. We've missed you at school. You'll have a lot to catch up on, so your classmates organized the reading material for you. You could find it in your locker. Please be sure to look over everything carefully. You wouldn't want to fail the year. Looks like those are my classmates. Students laughing at you. I hate them. Yeah, doesn't really seem like a lot of people like Lacey that much. I just need to open my locker in the closet to end this. My locker is, uh, which one? Oh, well, no. it's pretty obvious, isn't it? She's like talking directly to the player. And it's filled with trash. 
What a mess. Here's the closet, and that ends the dream. Or is it a dream? I'm so sick of this dream. It's time, right? Anyways, once I'm ready to go, I just need to call that number. Okay. Okay. Need to call the bus. The phone number I should dial is that. All right, so give me one second. Hey everyone, this is Trevor Truck with a little whispered interlude. I just wanted to point out that something happened to the footage after this point and I lost all that gameplay. It was like stuck on that one screen and it was, it was frozen basically. So I had to go through and replay the parts that I missed. So what's going to happen next is you're going to see the next part of the gameplay and I'm just going to have to walk you through what exactly is happening from the future, basically. Okay. All right. So let's just get back to the gameplay. I'll see you there. Okay. I need to call that number. And this is that particular number right there. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what in the world happened to the video. But for some reason, the recording software got stuck on the pause screen. So kind of weird. So this is a little bit awkward because I just recorded this gameplay a couple days ago. So I'm going to try to keep up with the text dialogue when I can. And some of this dialogue is kind of like a repeat. Um, so this is after the ritual. And I'm going to be exploring the house. And there's some things that are different. Like that painting of the cat, for instance. Okay, my reflection stares back at me. The laundry room is locked. It's a weird... Footprints there. Hero is long gone. So the only thing left to do is to board the bus. I think there's something else I have to do though. Oh, that's right. Yes. I have to call that number. And the keys are messed up. I had to depend on the little note thing um, on the Steam overlay. It's actually very useful for parts like this where you have to memorize numbers. Also, in my original playthrough, I actually remember making a mistake at this part and getting the bad ending, essentially. Um, I didn't even make it onto the bus. But now, as you can see, the bus is here. The front gate. Get on the bus. Alright, and as you can see, I'm kind of speed running this part. I don't know why. I guess I kind of thought. I just need to get this footage back really quickly. But in hindsight, I should have paused a little bit more to read what's actually happening. But I'll try to summarize it for you, okay? So essentially, the ritual calls forth this bus. 
Lacey gets on the bus. And we're not exactly sure where it's supposed to go. As Lacey says there. Yeah. Their daughter is on a bus headed straight towards certain death. It's hard to say this, but they would be happier without me. Even if I die on this trip, life will be better for them and Hero. Doing this ritual was the right choice. Whether I make it or fail, whether the Lacey everyone knows disappears or a different Lacey comes back. Yeah, so this is kind of heavy handed, kind of deep. Um, definitely thoughts that a lot of people struggle with, honestly. And it's tough. It's so tough to live thinking that way, honestly. And then this is a summarization, but Lacey read on the forums that she needs to get off the bus before the last stop. Uh, that's what someone said on that website. So let's see what happens here. So Lacey gets tired and falls asleep. It's this same recurring dream that she has. And so she's gonna go through it again, essentially. And the goal is to once more reach the wardrobe. Now, I don't believe I got, I don't know if I got to this part on my first playthrough, but the second time around, I noticed these extra set of stairs. But I basically just wanted to get to a good point in the game where I could catch up to my original file, so I didn't do any extra exploration. And then Lazy finds a red item. Okay. And some weird things happened and now she finds the wardrobe and now she's on the bus with all these different creatures the bus has stopped and you have a time limit for some reason I actually don't know what happens if you don't leave the bus in time. And then you get to this sort of forested area. I made it to a forest. So this is pretty much where I end the gameplay. Hopefully episode 3 will not encounter the same type of errors and whenever these types of things happen there's always a solution but it's just sometimes it can get a little frustrating anyway i want to thank you all for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video sorry for the little hiccup but i think i did the best i could with it and I will continue this series as we uncover just what the heck is happening in this game. Alright, goodbye everyone.